Well, back on the streets, and this is going to be a Christmas special. And the question is this, if you got a bunch of gifts this Christmas season, what kind of gift would you actually think about re-gifting to someone else? We all do that, so let's go find out. So the question is this, this Christmas, if you got a bunch of presents, what would be that one kind of present that you don't mind re-gifting to someone else because, you know, it's just too boring? Nothing, I would never re-gift something. That is so sweet. Okay, so it's cheap, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is cheap, but many people do it though. And that's really cheap behavior though, you shouldn't re-gift. It's like given, you know, you've been given a gift with emotions, you don't re-gift that. Even if it's a gift from someone that you don't like? Yeah, I mean, there's still emotions behind it though, you don't just re-gift it. Very true, we have to learn a lesson from her. What about you? Don't say the same thing, I'm sure you'll re-gift it. Um, probably clothes that don't fit or like just thing as, things I don't want. Oh, I'm guessing you have a problem with clothes that don't fit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your waistline? Uh, 32. 32? What? I would think it's 24. No, no 32. 30 or 32. Then your clothes should be fitting, right? Not really. It's yeah. very hard. Interesting. And I think my I need an eye checkup. Random thought, but I would maybe a phone because I only have one. A phone? You will re-gift a phone. Why are you so generous? Oh, because I think I just got a phone. It's quite recent so i think i don't wanna you know. you're just trying to show off aren't you do you want to do you want to show us your phone now i mean you can you can take it out you can give us all the looky because you're showing off what oh all right nice one okay good i don't think i would do that with any of my because gifts you're a nice person i mean christmas makes me nicer okay. <laughs> all right i'm hoping you would re-gift i'm hoping you're not as nice as she is um well i guess it depends on who gave it to me uh, yeah. if, what the if it was someone you didn't really care about yeah. Um, well, if they didn't really care about me, then I would re-gift. Tupperware? Tupperware. <laughs> but your mom would love it though. I don't think so. We have enough of it. <laughs> you have enough Tupperware, you just want to get rid of all of them. What about you? I don't know, maybe some clothes. Some clothes? Yeah, you just have too many. I don't like people gifting me clothes. I'll buy them myself. Christmas edition in the shop continues. What is your name? Varsha. Varsha. Varsha, the question is this. If you ever got a bunch of Christmas presents this Christmas, what would be the present you leave aside to re-give to someone else because you just don't like it. Hmm. Probably a bunch of books. <laughs> a bunch of books. Why don't you like reading? Apparently I'd, it's good for you. I'd rather watch something and get the knowledge out of it okay. rather than sit and read and you know, spend right. time. Yeah. Okay, so books it is, you yeah, just don't definitely. like it. And do you get a lot of books as gifts? Yeah. <laughs> um that would be a tomorrowland ticket. A tomorrowland ticket. Yeah. You will re-gift. Yeah. You don't want to keep it. Well, I'm a performer. Okay. So well, I would like to give it to someone who wants to go to Kumar. So you perform at Tomorrowland? Yes. Wow, we just got ourselves a star. Okay, so what about you? Okay, I think I would give my guitar. You'd give your guitar? Is it because you're again a musician who performs and you want to spread the joy? Yes, definitely. I like to spread the world, like the music and like, you know, if I spread it around the world, they will at least know like, you know, music is so much better. It's not just once you listen to it and you're just like, oh, this music is good. But then when you start learning about it, it's something different. A very valuable lesson. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to that ticket. Yes. When am I getting it? Uh, maybe by next year. No. I can only think of Sohan Papri when it comes to re-gifting anything. <laughs> so, How many times have you got that? Probably a multiple number of times. So, Which is why I'm expecting not to have Sohan Papri again. Alright, fine. Thank you guys and uh, Merry Christmas. In the short Christmas edition continues, what is your name? Sarah. Esto. Okay, so guys, the question is this. If you got, I mean, I'm sure you guys are used to getting a bunch of presents for Christmas, right? No. Uh, <laughs> you're about to say it, right? Not okay. <laughs> All right, but, but just in case, let's hypothetically say you did. Okay, you got a bunch of presents. What would be the kind of present that you'd move aside and re gift to someone else because you don't care too much about it? Re-gifting. Candles. Scented candles. No, like, seriously? I don't like scented seriously? candles. I don't get it. Oh. You guys don't know each other though. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I would go for books because I'm not like a book person. You're not a book person. Yeah. Oh. So I would, I generally return books back. Or like there are times I've gotten, what, what do you call the stationary boxes? <laughs> stationary. No, like no. <laughs> then I return those back. Okay, so you could pass on the scented candles and she could burn the book. Uh, that's perfect. That's honestly perfect. That's a great idea. But scented candles, why? What's the... I don't get... Uh, see, the thing is, uh, I think it's supposed to be like really calming and really... Uh, Who needs that kind of calm? Exactly. Right? So it's more of like, just like it's there. Yeah. 
and it'll burn. That's it. I give my mom, give it to my mom or something. That's okay, it. Somebody who appreciates it. Yeah, exactly. Well, time to switch things up and play the wrong game. I've got two people with me. What is your name? Rahul Rao. And Kirtana. Okay, so guys, five questions. You got to give me the wrong answer. Let's keep it relevantly wrong. Your first question is this: Name and occupation starting with S. Doctor. Yes. Okay. Give an example of a consonant. Oh, uh, you. Yes, correct. The Great Wall of China is in which country? Australia. That's correct. What month is it now? September. Okay, cool. What comes out of a tap? A fire. Okay, cool. And you've done it. You've actually won the wrong game, guys. Congratulations. And uh, you win a voucher with 1000 rupees. And so, remember if you want to get that wrong attitude, all you need to do is visit wrong.in and you guys are getting that voucher as well. So, they got the wrong attitude but it's bye bye for me